Hey everyone, this is for Sharp MX7040 or also um, you can perform this developer change on a 6240 as well. Now, this is the reason why you want to change it out is that there's a, there's a void line running down the magnetic roller or it's just time for the developer to be changed out. So enter the service mode, pound, star, C star and um, you're going to go into um, test patterns which is simulation 64-1 and pattern number 19 and and choose the the K button for the black and it, it'll print out a half tone gradation uh, different sets of um, half tones on a on a eight and a half by eleven and it will show you that it will show you basically how the the half tones are printing out for the black and as you can see here on right down the middle of the page you're gonna see a void line running from left to right as the paper comes out portrait on the page on the paper on, on the print itself so starting from the top if you look down coming to the middle you see that white void line a little bit above that one row of squares um, then that's a void in the black developer unit now that tells me that the black developer unit has debris in it and sometimes you can go in there and remove the debris there's certain several ways you can do it but ultimately you'd want to change the develop, developer out because if there's one little debris in there like a, a sponge or cake toner or something like that you'll know um, pretty much there's going to be another one that will end up behind the magnetic roller and causing a void line again so this is removing the positioning plate make sure that the transfer arrows are lined up push the button remove that flip down that positioning plate unlock the black developer and to the right and then pull the developer out place it on a flat surface and go ahead and take off and remove the top cover just two screws <clears throat> and the the um the actual top cover hinges back towards the rear if the uh, mag ro magnetic roller is facing you so flip it back remove the cover itself off of the developer unit chamber and we're going to take the whole developer unit and turn it upside down until all the carrier or sometimes it's called starter is emptied out of the developer unit I usually like to give it a good a good shake from left to right um, at the same time turning the drive gears on this developer unit itself and, and obviously carrier and developer is magnetic so it will stick to the magnetic roller and as you spin the drive on the developer unit the magnetic poles are switched and it'll eventually fall off of its the magnetic roller but there still there is some remaining on on the magnetic roller so you take I, I take a vacuum um, and just vacuum out the remaining amount of developer now you can do this for all the colors for the cyan the magenta and the yellow as well pretty much the same process but of course the developer bag is a different part number so I like to get it cleaned out really well just taking out all the old developer from the augers of the developer unit chamber making sure that all the old developer is completely removed then I like to give it a good spin as far as spinning that magnetic roller one more time and and, and getting a nice clean surface on the mag roller itself So I use my thumb here and I just spin the magnetic roller in, in the upwards direction so in the way that it should turn and I give that surface of the magnetic roller a good cleaning with the vacuum cleaner. Get your bag of black developer, I believe this is MX62N vba is the part number for the black developer give it a good shake shake it up and then pour it evenly across the two augers in the developer unit chamber itself and just completely 
empty out the whole bag. And so when any, anytime a new developer is um, installed into, into a copier like this, you need to run what is called a simulation 25-02. It initializes the, the developer unit itself with the new bag of, of carrier. Um, basically, it takes the ratio of developer to toner and it programs it into the machine so it maintains that ratio throughout the life of the, the, the new developer itself. So after we do this, we put the cover back on, plug in the developer, and we uh, run that simulation 2502. So place the cover back on, the hinges of course first at the rear of the de developer, screw in the two screws, Put this on the side. And this is something that I take very seriously as far as the remaining developer. Um, obviously this is very, it can get very messy really fast, real quick. So I've been doing this so long that I've got my own system down. I'm sure other techs have their own system. But I, I take recycled paper that I have in my tool bag, lay it out, and a port directly in the middle, the old developer directly in the middle. And as you can see, I fold these things up pretty tight so that it, 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 it can't leak or, or escape out of that, that, um, that fold. And then I actually tuck it into a nice plastic bag and these plastic bags are found in packing material when we got parts I just saved the plastic bags so that um, I can put old developer in them it doesn't take much to just roll up the old packing material plastic bags and stick it in my tool case to carry around with me for times like this um, just so that I can keep old developer and toner contained when when I get it together and dispose of it in the trash can I hate for one of the, the um, housekeepers or, or janitors to come by and empty out that bag, that rubbish can and toner and developer goes all over the place. So just a little um, tip there for just, just keeping it contained when we dispose of it. All right, developer in, lock the latch, push in the positioning plate, make sure it clicks in. And before I even tighten down this positioning plate with the two screws on the left and right, I like to put in the positioning um, shaft, um, what do you call this, knobs itself. I like to put those in first because you gotta kind of push it in and turn at the same time just because it's keyed in. And when you tighten down the positioning plate first, sometimes it doesn't go in as smooth. So I like to keep it loose and then push it in. And I, I go ahead and secure each positioning knob to the drum shaft with the four screws. And you can see I'm using um, a power tool. I got very low torque on it. I'm not over tightening it. And that's one of the problems of using power tools. If you don't use it correctly, you can cause problems by eventually people stripping screws because it's, it's torqued too much. So I've, I've gotten very, very um, useful. Um, I've gotten really, really good at not tightening it so tight that it's, um, it's gonna cause problems for, for other techs or when removing it again. So service mode, Pong Star, C Star, go over to 25, simulation 25-02, and go ahead and hit the black K button and execute, and it should cycle, but wait, it's not cycling, it says check toner. Anytime we do a developer change, and doing a 25, excuse me, 2502 simulation mode, it does require you to remove the toner cartridge for whatever developer you're initializing so it's saying to check the toner so remove the black developer we try this again make sure the k button is is highlighted and hit execute and then you should see these values change as you hit execute so the tcsk and the tsgk you'll see the numbers change that means that the machine is reading the toner to carrier ratio, 
of the new bag of developer in there and it should cycle for I'd say anywhere in between of like a min minute and a half to like two and a half or three minutes just let it cycle through the whole process and then you'll see the execute button turn white go ahead and hit exit put in the black toner back into its um, slot and we'll go back in and we're going to test pattern 19 in simulation 64-01 so home button twice version number twice pound star c star we'll go to 64 mono one mono and pattern 19 we'll go ahead and select k and execute to print out a black print test pattern So there's the before copy on the bottom and my after copy looks nice and clean. So that's it, black developer change on a Sharp MX7040.